up at high latitudes inside the Arctic Circle, during the night time, you can see bright lights in the night sky, the aurora borealis, the, the northern lights. These are dancing red and green areas of light that, that can fill the sky. And for thousands of years, people have been looking at these, and there's lots of myths and legends about what caused them. But since the beginning of the space age, scientists have been able to use satellites looking at the sun and looking down on the Earth to make measurements of the processes that, that actually drive the northern lights, the physics behind the aurora borealis. And so that's what my research is interested in. So I'd look at the northern lights from satellites above the Earth's atmosphere and from instruments on the ground that can measure variations in the Earth's magnetic field and variations in the, in the pattern of illumination in the night sky. So there are these beautiful effects, the, the northern lights, that, that people have been looking at for a long time, which are, are, are very, very mesmerizing and they're very inspiring and some people, some people think they're quite spiritual. So there's lots of positive things about them, but they're also a symptom of our connection to, the, to our local star, to the sun. And they're actually showing that huge amounts of energy are flowing through the Earth's upper atmosphere. It's causing the atmosphere to glow. And those same processes can actually start to impact on the operations of things like power grids, satellite communications, and radio communications. So in today's society, when we're really dependent on those things, it's important that our research goes on to look at some of the natural effects that can actually be a risk and a hazard to our everyday society.